Hey guys, Jared from Wave to Wave, and just wanted to talk a little bit about that new uh, V6R engine that I've written about many times and always kind of thought it'd be a great idea. And so I think it's really cool. And um, it's, you know, I think the things that come up in the feedback are like, why did they pick 200 horsepower? And, and uh, I don't really know for sure why, but it, it sort of seems that that's probably a good spot for them to be in with that size of engine. If you, you know, I think the argument would be that 225 might be a magic number because it's kind of an iconic horsepower range, especially for the racing product line from the Pro Max to the Sport XS. The 225 was always a popular uh, engine category. And I think maybe they were probably thinking that the 200 might be a good spot for a lot of different boats and not creep up too close to the 250R, you know, and that might be the reason, I don't know for sure. Either way, I know with that RPM range it's offering, it's going to be really, really powerful as a 200. And as a lot of you know, on lighter boats, it's a lot more about setup and how much torque the engine has and what you can rev it to as opposed to just the sheer horsepower number, which is important, but there's a lot more to it than just that. So they nailed the big things like the solid lower mounts, uh, again, like the RPM range for, for that category is unheard of. Like no one's running a 200 right now that can rev over 6,000 RPM and it's a smooth smaller v6 still like not light uh you know especially when you're comparing to the older two strokes and it's it's just never going to be like that again unless you're going to like a really small block uh four stroke and so in that size range it's it's still one of the lighter ones on the market all the other 200s in the market are either a v6 that's much larger like the yamaha or their four cylinder double red cam which are actually about the same weight as the v6 the smaller v6 so I think they nailed all the big things. This optional gear case is amazing. That's really, you know, most people are probably gonna run the Torque Master, but people who are running Allison's or STVs or other small compact boats that really are light and get out of the water, they can run the Sport Master from the factory and have a warranty. That's a big thing, you know, it's, it's really cool. And I think there's still gonna be guys that are gonna take existing four strokes or off warranty four strokes. Um, and do a few things to them myself or themselves. And that's what I did with this. This is the original 154 stroke. And I bought this as a CPO motor back before the Pro XS 150 was even out. And I think I bought this like $8,000. And so it was like a brand new certified pre-owned from Merck. And, you know, all I did is uh, do a nose cone. I spent quite a bit of time kind of playing with the, the, the nose tip and the design and the skeg, there's some tweaking I've done to that. And then we did put the lower mounts from the Pro XS when they're available on, which stiffens up a little bit, not perfect, but you know, for this horsepower range on this boat, it's pretty good. And so, yeah, this was sort of the lightest reasonable power for this boat at the time. And so I think you'll still see that people can now take an older V6 200, 225 off warranty, and they could throw a Sportmaster on it, they could comb the gear case, they could get those lower mounts, uh, you know. And so the, the tuning software stuff is kind of off limits for me to talk about because that's a personal decision someone can make if they want to. I think it kind of is a gray area for the manufacturers, but it, it's exciting. I think it's a cool, it's an enthusiast motor. It's a great repower motor. If you're already running a 200, 225, it's gonna fit perfectly in there. Probably puts out, you know, <laughs> Merck Racing's never gonna say the actual dyno number, but I'm. I'm pretty confident it's putting out a lot more than 200 horsepower. And the ability to rev it up to 6,400 RPM is gonna give you a lot more, I guess, leeway with props. If you're running a 200 EFI before or a 225, you can, you know, you can actually, you know, run a, the same prop. And also you're probably gonna to have to adjust your setback and other things, but I think it's a great enthusiast product. You know, four strokes are gonna be what guys are running in the future and whether it's kind of modded existing ones or the ones straight from Merc Racing, that's the way it's gonna go. And and maybe, you never know, like maybe they'll add more, more horsepower offerings, play with different engines too, smaller, bigger, whatever. And uh, that's where we're at right now. I think it's really cool. I think Merc Racing deserves credit for kind of just listening to enthusiasts and and doing it. So nothing's perfect. There's no perfect engine out there. There's, you know, there's always gonna be a, a car or a boat or an engine. It's just gonna be 
even if it's for enthusiasts, there's always gonna be the, the most particular people are us, the enthusiasts, so we're gonna have always something to say about it, but which is fine, but I think it's a great step and uh, a really cool product. And you can check out my article, wave2wave.com, fresh article about the engines up, and I'm looking forward to doing some testing. I think I'm gonna look for a donor boat, do a repower, because that's I think gonna be a big part of that market is a repower. So we're gonna look for something kind of conventional, some kind of fun, really common, and see the budget, you know, do a few tricks, see how we can get comparison performance to an older motor on a, you know, popular boat and go from there.